And still on the war against insecurity, a Yoruba leadership forum has uh, described President Mahmoudou Buhari's ban on mining activities in Zamfara State as a double-edged sword for the Northwest region. It warned that the ban could cause another security challenge considering the underlying socio-ethnic tensions over gold mining. The group advised the federal government to take control of mining sites in Zamfara and other states as a way to forestall fresh problems. So for more perspective on this, the president, Yoruba Ronu Leadership Forum, Aki Malaolu, joins us. It's good to have you on news now. Thank you so much. So in yeah, your... Good evening. good evening. Yes, welcome aboard. Uh, in your press release, you said the ban on mining activities in Zamfara and the no-fly zone order are double-edged swords. You also said it could be interpreted by some as rubbing Peter to pay Paul. What exactly do you mean? Uh, you see, um, during the course of this banditry and discussions on amnesty, at, uh, attacking them, we were watching because we have followed the story that happened in Zamfara between 2006 and 2007. So we were waiting for leaders in the north to come out with the whole story and the truth behind the banditry. But they kept keeping their faces behind the curtains until the thing got out of hand. It has spread to every part of the Federation and the reluctance of the president to intervene quickly due to his unending silence, we equally continue to wait, waiting for them to tell their own story. So when the president eventually convoke his National Security Council for a meeting on that matter, they now spoke on the mining, gold mining, which is, yeah. now that they are spoken on the gold mining, that provoked our press statement that this is not the time to rob Peter to pay Paul, because Okay. Socio ethnic tension between the Aousas and the Fulanis. Mm. Okay, so let's bring in a public analyst, Sunday Odibashi, for a second opinion. Sunday, thank you so much for joining oh. us. Yeah, thank you, Bonnie. So what do you me. what do you make of President Buari's ban on mining activities in Zamfara? Also, if you react to what um Mr. Malaulu just said. Yeah, the banning came as a measure of the federal government to control violence in that housing. But I will agree with uh, Steve Malolu on the silence of the president for quite a long time, which gave leverage to the perpetrators of violence to go wide, like they've spread across the country today. However, the action on Tuesday shows that the president has come out to take firm action. Banning the mining, uh, it could be a separate measure. Then the no-fly uh, no zone again is also another separate measure. If these two measures we calm tension in those areas. So, so they are okay. However, you know this violence has exposed a lot of things. Gold is solid mineral. And you know that the amount of exploration of a solid mineral is on the exclusive list, which means that only the federal government can control activities in that sector just like the crude oil in the Niger Delta. So why has it been that it's the state that are controlling it? Now it has caused violence that the state has lost control. And the federal government is now saying we are not coming to burn it. So why has it been so? Is, there, is that a hidden wealth in, in that region? But again, looking at the decision, like I said, there are temporary decisions there are issues that will just come. And I listened to the National Security Advisor 
to the president on Tuesday after the National Security Council meeting, when he now noted that non-state actors have become so violent that they, all, they are taking out the state in the state. And you know the consequence, when non-state actors become so violent that the, the government cannot control them, the state is, is giving up. Okay. So, so it was a serious threat. Okay, so talking about the mining, the ban on mining activities now, you say it is late, but it is the right decision. Is that what I hear you say? Yeah, it came, it came in late, but it's, an, an, it's a decision that the government needs to take. Okay, let's and move... say this is the direction to go, because they need to, to calm activities there, or if possible, neutralize activities there, so they can take control of the environment. All right, let's move on, right? Let's have Mala, Mr. Malalu, let's have you jump in again. So your group also called on President Mamad Bouhari to break his culture of silence on issues of national security, like you've just said. Uh, well, the president has just ordered uh, the military to shoot at sight anyone seen with AK-47 rifles in the bush. And the senior special assistant is the president of media and publicity, Garbashi, who made this known to BBC Hausa Services on Wednesday. Let's have your reaction. Uh, well, that is just one of the several grievances. Other sections of this country's tribe and religious groups have against the silence or inaction of the government. And uh, for a long time, we were watching what was going on while we were making our statements. But something came up during our discussions within the group, and we had to panic. We went through Obasanjo's uh, uh, a letter, open letter to the president, and we saw virtually everything that we saw in his letter. So we just have to call the attention of the president and those around him that there is going to be a gloomy foreboding on the nation if the president does not address the grievances of different ethnic nationalities. And every, all these crises are centered on the, a tribe, a, a, the mention of a tribe of Fulani, some renegades, but it has not been used to cover up, and that is where the danger is. Because the Fulanis are minorities in Nigeria, less than 20 million in the population of 230 million people. Okay, whatever so hegemony, whatever force in their hand, they can't defeat the entire 230 million people. Okay, so remember that the key word here is anyone. That's what the president said. Anyone, regardless of the ethnicity. But let's have Sunday jumping here again. Sunday, Governor Bala Mohammed of Obochi State had defended headsmen carrying AK-47, saying that they used it to protect themselves from cattle rustlers and others, right? But President Barry is having none of it. Oh, I don't know what your opinion is. Is this a stitch in time? Uh, well, I think uh, the Bashi government is fired somehow because it is part of what has been going on in the north. Like uh, Chief uh, Malolu said about prolonged silence. I know most of the northern leaders have been trying to justify the activities of the killer headsmen so that it became difficult to differentiate genuine headsmen and uh, militia, some of which they later categorized as full of militia that are carrying us. So when the governor was trying to justify the um, uh, headsmen carrying AK-47, then the question he didn't answer is, cattle rustling is not a common practice in the South. So why were they killing people in the South? Now, if those communities that they were invading, they were not invading them for cattle rustling. And that was when where the governor got it entirely wrong. Then the reaction of Mr. President to say that anybody carrying AK-47 is illegal and should face the music, that was the right response. Because ordinarily you would have expected the kinsmen of the president to help him to make his government work. Unfortunately, what is destabilizing the government of the president is even coming from the kinsmen themselves. And that's a big disappointment. So for him now to, for that to be having this kind of opinion shows the president is not ready to take the bull by the horn.
that's a safe place to land. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. So I have been speaking with the president, Yoruba Ronu Leadership Forum, Aki Malaulu, and a public affairs analyst, Sunday Odibashi. Right, let's thank move you. on. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.